Lately, I'm not really sure what to post about. I really enjoy making videos, but there's nothing like truly set where I can make a video about a specific thing. I just go to the shop and I, I make whatever is needed for the day. So I thought maybe I would try making videos where I kind of just recap of what happened for the past week. So every week I really get a lot of branding irons. I probably make 5 to 10 branding irons for people every single week. And I also do some odd jobs. I really like having the long cycle times for the branding irons because that allows me to get on the other machines and do what's needed on there. So here I'm just using these saw cut blocks and drilling a hole and tapping a 5 8 11 thread for them. Most of what you see and are going to see on this channel are these branding irons and the story behind this is I just made a post on Etsy before Christmas and it kind of took off. And now I sell them through my website and hopefully soon to be Amazon. Also this past week we got a ton of snow in Ohio and it was really cold. And the shop is real nice and toasty, I keep it at about 60 to 65 degrees and it was just kind of crazy. It was really cold, a lot of snow, a lot more snow than usual. While I've been machining a lot of these branding irons, cycle time improvement has been a huge deal for me uh, while also not breaking tools. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship with time and how long it takes. Basically now I do a lot more roughing and a lot of rest machining. But then again it's not too bad because it allows me to step away from it and go to other machines like I said before. Here I'm just warming up the lathe and getting it ready to go. Not much to see. I can never see through the window. I do a lot of like testing with the door open, but after that's done, there's not much to see until the part's completely done. Here's just a little round piece with a 1032 thread on it. And then back to the Tormach to tend to the branding iron that's made. So after that's done engraving and doing all that stuff, then I flip it over and drill and tap a hole for the whatever handle it's getting. And then also I did these big steel plates, all I had to do was drill these holes in them so it wasn't too big of a deal. I truly hate taking the vise off and putting it back on but that's never really that bad. So, uh, Of course I used the old Saunders Machine Works fixture plate for the Tormach, it actually ends up working out pretty good. And then back to more branding irons. And I make various sizes, pretty much whatever the customer wants but anywhere from 1x1 one one to 2x2 two two to 3x3. Three and I offer electric branding irons with these as well and you can also get them with a wooden handle and a threaded rod so you can heat them however you want. Then while the Tormach is running back to the lathe to make these threaded shaft pieces this is for an upcoming project that I'll definitely be showing probably more in depth. And then finished branding irons. Pretty cool stuff I really like how they look all the time. And brass is such a dream to work with, it is like it is the perfect material, even better than aluminum to work with in my opinion. And lastly are these plugs here. So I basically cut everything out to size on the lathe and then I ended up putting them in the mill with a three jaw chuck to profile everything out. Because I didn't have the correct lathe tool, which I've now ordered, to do like internal spherical profiling and now that I have that it's going to work out much better so th the original part is on the right and there's a hole in it and I guess the customer wants to put his own holes in it or test out other holes I'm not really sure but here it is pretty cool stuff so I rub everything out with a quarter inch end mill and then I go over to the quarter inch ball end mill to finish everything out make it real nice and smooth and the Fidal really doesn't like doing big surfacing programs which I can understand but so I'll have some messing around to do with that uh, but it ended up working out just as some test pieces but like I said I'll probably be doing everything on the lathe from now on with that part so I think that's it for now so thanks for watching